Okay, Stockpulse back here in Vancouver for the mining conference, and I've got Larry Ray, the president and CEO of American Manganese. That's AMY on the venture. Larry, how are you? Fantastic. I saw a chat you were giving earlier, and I couldn't hear a whole lot about it. Why don't you kind of lay out what's going on over there with Amy? Amy's taking a uh, opportunity in recycling of lithium-ion batteries. This opportunity is a result of all our work on manganese that we did back in the day. And uh, we got a patent in U.S., China, and South Africa on that. Chemistries are similar to what's in a cathode battery, a uh, lithium-ion, the cathode material in a lithium-ion battery. And so we did a proof of concept here 2016 and sure enough we got 100% of the materials back. So we took that proof of concept and we developed it over the next year, a couple of million dollars, bench scale tests and uh, we're con totally convinced that we can get 100% of the cathode material out of a lithium ion battery. Now when I talk about the cathode material, let's take a look at the most popular brand out there and that's nickel manganese cobalt, lithium nickel manganese cobalt. The cathode material in a thousand pound battery is worth $3,000 a battery, $6,000 a ton. You'd have to have very rich gold to get that out of a gold deposit. Now, we don't have to drill it. We don't have to uh, uh, calculate what the reserves are. We know what reserves are in each battery and uh, the batteries will start to become a very endless supply, a sustainable supply, like a renewable resource. So we, if we take out, use our recycling program to take out 100% of that material, we have a closed circuit recycling program that is ultra friendly to the environment and nothing goes back into the environment which means that we don't have any waste streams, nothing goes back into the environment. It's the only solution out there that can do this. And uh, now we are at the point of building a pilot plant, and when that pilot plant's complete, we will scale up 1,000 to 1 or 2,000 to 1 and build a what we call a demonstration commercial plant that can produce up to $50 million worth of cathode material a year. Uh, you say, okay, $50 million, that's a three-ton-a-day plant. What would happen if you built a 30-ton-a-day plant? Well, it would be $500 million. 60-ton-a-day plant would be a billion. So you can see how this thing can just continue to grow and grow and grow. We're talking 40 million batteries in 2030. 2000, uh, 40 million EV cars. So that gives you a pretty good idea that this could end up being a multi-billion dollar business. And we're very excited about it. We've been picked up by Bloomberg and Reuters. I presented at some of the better conferences around the world, been asked to present. And uh, yet, the investors are really not aware of what we've got. And obviously your job is to, to let them know. Um, what's the, why don't you paint a picture for the next uh, 60, 90 days? I think there could be some developments that uh, will certainly uh, be a propellant for this stock. And uh, I have mentioned in my podcasts several times that we get a lot of interest out of Asia and we're still continuing to get that and uh, more so than we do out of North America or Europe. So I see the Asians are recognizing what we have, whereas our uh, domestic sources are not doing so. Uh, anything else that's uh, really pertinent on this story here that we need to know? Well, the next big thing is the uh, receiving the patents. We've made patent applications for these, and uh, before we get those, we will be filing two to three new IP patents, and, uh, and then we'll have our patents, and then we can be a few, very, feel fairly comfortable in talking to people around the world. And those are, any time frame on this? Uh, we should have the patents in a few months. Uh, certainly publicizing way less than that. And uh, so, and the filing of the other patents uh, probably within the next month. So, uh, yeah, that, that's exciting. We've got other things happening that uh, 
will be newsworthy and news and you know it will be certainly a big advancement for the company and you know everything's coming together it's, it's worked out very smoothly sound like a pretty busy guy that was larry ray american manganese amy on the venture larry appreciate you laying this out thank you